so excited to show you this because they are adorable. Look at these. A little dramatic, right? That one really popped open. Yeah. What's up, West Coasters, and welcome back. If you're new around here, my name's Molly, and behind the camera right now is Isaac. Together we are the West Coasters. We're here in Little Tokyo in downtown Los Angeles for an epic food tour. There's so much to do here, but we're really interested in the food. No surprise there. So let's see how much delicious food we can find and get after it. Welcome to Little Tokyo in Los Angeles. So let's not waste any time, let's jump right in and grab some food. Kicking off our uh, food tour of Little Tokyo, we stopped at Tanoda to get some takoyaki. If you've never had takoyaki before, it's almost like a really, like a, it's like a pancake ball. Like it's cooked on the outside, but then the inside's really gooey and there's a piece of cooked octopus in the middle. It's just like delicious. It's like a savory pancake before. Um, you know, in Western culture, we usually have like pancakes with breakfast, with maple syrup and butter, but this is just awesome. You have to try this when you're here. There's all different flavors of takoyaki you can get, which are, I think they're all pretty much the same, but the toppings and the dipping sauce can change. I got the panzu, which is like a citrusy soy sauce. That is so good. It's nice and like gooey in the middle. It's like amazing street food. Good appetizer? Oh yeah, for sure. This is a good way to kind of kick up our visit to Little Tokyo. One thing I love about grabbing this takoyaki to go is that it's fast. Um, a lot of the places that you can eat here are kind of sit down, so you're gonna have some type of wait to get to your table, to start eating. And I don't know about you guys, but when we show up somewhere for a big eating day, we need something fast. Takoyaki. <laughs> this is a great start, it's a great appetizer. So besides having all kinds of eateries and fun shops, there is a Japanese grocery store and I wanted to stop in there and get something to drink as we're walking around to our next stop. So I got this made by Kirin, which I really like their beer. Um, kind of like an iced tea. Oh, that's really good. It's like not too sweet. It almost just tastes like a traditional milk tea you get at a boba shop. The English afternoon tea was by the Duchess. So very good, very good tea from the Duchess. We have a wait today for our table for sushi. It's not a super long wait, but we definitely needed something after those takoyakis. It's always good to just like grab something cold and refreshing on a hot day in Los Angeles. So besides it being a full grocery store that has tons of like Japanese specialty foods, there's a whole section that has takeaway food. They have like uh, onigiris and they have little bento boxes. So it almost feels like a Japanese convenience store you'd see in Japan. We are so pumped to go to Japan someday soon. So this is giving us a little bit of taste of Japan here in Los Angeles. If you enjoy these LA foodie videos, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, but also make sure you hit the red subscribe button. We'd love to bring you along with us for our future LA food excursions. We have some amazing plans. It's gonna be a big year for us, so join the family. You can also get them individually. Yeah? Do you want a big pack or do you want individuals? I think just individuals. Yeah. We're eating so much today. Um, is it any of them combined? Yeah. Okay, I'll do uh, the green tea. I'll take one of those. What do you want? Can I get one of these ones down here? And then, uh, is this like peanut powder? I'll take one of those, saving powder. So we just hit up Fugetsu Do to grab some handmade mochi. They've been making mochi and other Japanese treats here in LA, I think for 120 years, since 1903. So obviously they're doing something right. We are so excited to try these. I'm so excited to show you this because they are adorable. Look at these. Of course I had to grab a green tea mochi.
Mm. This is just a lot softer and fresher than any other mochi I've had. These are made fresh, and I think that's what makes the difference, is that it doesn't have time to sit and get firmer or even more chewy. This is pillowy soft, and the flavors are just incredible. Mm. It's just so fresh, so chewy and soft. It's love. Also from Fugetsu, I wanted to try this mochi that looked like a doriaki. I'm not sure if it actually is. Ooh, it feels like a pancake for sure. So doriaki is like a traditional Japanese sweet that's pancakes with red bean filling. That's what this looks like. So I'm hoping it's like a mochi in the middle though. Nope, just a very good red bean center. I think there's little bits of chestnut in there. Super sweet, super delicious, love it. They're definitely known for that red bean paste. That's like their other claim to fame besides the mochi. Oh, I didn't so know that. So that, that paste in the middle, I think that's one of their like hallmark. It does taste super fresh, which is great. The doriaki was really good, but I, I still want to try one of their mochis. I know Molly tried one, and then I tried the doriaki thinking it was a mochi, so let's try a mochi. We'll, we'll try this one that almost looks like a piece of salmon, right? I think it's supposed to, like, like sushi. Is it supposed to look like, like nigiri or something, like a little salmon? Try it out. It's nice and soft. Mmm. Nice and sweet and chewy, super fresh. It doesn't have a filling like the green tea one. Yeah, so no filling, but still very, very good. I really like it. Like Molly said, it just has that like really super fresh flavor. It doesn't taste like it was like packaged and, and sitting on a shelf for a while. This is great. Over a hundred years of excellence. Time for some sushi. One of the funnest places to eat here in Little Tokyo is the Kura Revolving Sushi Belt. This place is really fun. In Japan, it's almost more of a like a really cheap, like a fast food experience. Obviously, it's high quality because it's in Japan, you're getting good sushi. But over here in the US, you're, you're paying a little bit for the novelty factor, but it's really fun. I mean, this belt comes around with all these different pieces of sushi. They're all protected in these little clamshells. You just stick your finger in, you push it up, the clamshell opens, you grab your plate of sushi, you enjoy your sushi, then when you're done with your plate, you put it into this metal slot and it counts how many plates you get and you can pay on like an iPad. It's super futuristic, we love it here. Of course, there are really high-end, fancy sushi spots here that have wonderful, wonderful sushi, but we're just really into the novelty of this. It's super fun. I'm waiting for something I want to come around. There's a few things I always have to get. Patience. Many decisions. Mm -hmm. Caterpillar roll. I don't know what's in it. A little dramatic, right? That one really popped open. Yeah. If you're new to sushi, one of the things that you should really try is tamago, which is like almost a sweet egg omelet. And I think they cook it in those square pans and they put it over rice. So if you're hanging out and you're not seeing, oh, here comes the robot. Here comes the robot. I like how it plays music, so you know he's coming. So if you're sitting here, you're having a good time and you're not seeing what you want coming around on the belt, they do have the big touch screen. So you can order like any additional items, any a la carte items, and they come out on this super fast conveyor belt. It's really fun. As basic as it is, one of my favorite things to get at a sushi place is the spicy tuna, the spicy tuna roll. It's just my favorite. It's always really, well, spicy, which I love, and then it also has kind of like a sesame flavor. So, mm, I haven't seen it come by, so I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna order it. Let's see if it comes fast. And just like that, my spicy tuna is here. I had to grab some inari. It's just rice wrapped in a sweet tofu skin. It's really yummy. It's one of those things that's a crowd pleaser, so even if you're not sure about all the fish, this is very good. As you feed your plates in, there's a little animation that comes up on the screen. It kind of makes it into a game. You know if you order a certain amount of sushi, you get to get some kind of prize. I can see there's these little balls up top, um, but it's collectible, so it's definitely incentive to eat a lot more, but yeah, this would be a really fun place to come on a date. It's just a cool atmosphere. Like I said, it's really novel, just watching all the food go around. It's a very communal, game-like atmosphere, but it'd be great with a group or on a date. So nice, the server came and offered us a prize, even if we didn't reach the 15. It's a little ball that you open. I think it's magnets. Ooh. 
These are cute. They're definitely magnets. There's a tiny little Superman. And keeping it equitable, there's Supergirl too. How cute. A Cora magnet. These are definitely going on the fridge at home. This is amazing. <laughs> so Isaac just reminded me that they call it a gacha pong machine when you get the little balls with the prizes. It just makes me so excited for when we can finally go to Japan. We've wanted to go forever, for years. This might just have to be the year. We'll see how life pans out, but oh my gosh, it would be amazing to experience all of this, all this culture at the source. Oh, I hope it happens. So let's recap what we've had so far. We had takoyaki, we had some of that delicious fresh mochi, we had sushi, sushi belt from Kura Sushi, but call me crazy, I think we might just have a little bit of room left. I mean, you always have room left for ice cream, right? Let's head to Somi Somi. Somi Somi is a taiyaki spot, so it's ice cream and served with this fish-shaped like waffle cone. Uh, we've been here a couple times, but we're gonna get something a little different today. I got a crazy one. Can I do Fruity Pebbles? That's all set for me, yeah, that's good. Thank you. Look at it, it's so cute. For the ice cream, I got the matcha guava swirl. That looked really interesting. I've never tried it. And then for the fish, the actual taiyaki, you get a filling on the inside. So I got the custard filling. I thought that'd be good. And then at the very end, when they're putting it together, you can have a topping. So I went for the fruity pebbles. Thought that would be delicious. And you get like a little cookie. And I think it's like a part of a macaron kind of cookie. Let's get into the ice cream though. Oh, it's dripping. It's hot outside today. Messy. That's so good, but I desperately need a napkin. I love that the guava flavor comes out big. It's super tasty. I love guava, so that's no problem for me. Of course, matcha is a powerful flavor, so you get that too. Mm. And then with the fruity pebbles for a little extra sweet fruity crunch, this is the perfect summer dessert. It's the taiyaki. It's like almost like a waffle texture. It's super soft. It's still a little bit warm too because they make it fresh. This is why you come here. This is so good. This is so soft and freshly made and with the custard on the inside, super delicious. This is a super unique dessert. And I think when you come here, you have to find these unique eating opportunities. Get something new that you've never had. And this is what travel and being a foodie is all about. But you would never be disappointed with anything from Somi Somi. It's so good. Somi Somi good. Besides the taiyaki that they can do on top of the ice cream or like a cone, you can just get straight ice cream too. I got a milk ice cream and ube ice cream swirl. It's completely melted now, but ube is kind of like swept Los Angeles. You can't go anywhere without getting an ube flavored dessert. And this is just really, really good. So if you're looking for just more of a plain option, you can always just get straight ice cream. So we're sitting here outside the Japanese American Cultural Center, reflecting on all the amazing food we had. It was pretty epic. And I have to say, little Tokyo just feels like this hidden enclave, this little gem in the middle of downtown LA. And it's definitely worth your time. If you're here in LA for a few days and you wanna do something unique off the beaten path and you wanna eat some amazing food, you have to hit up little Tokyo. It's just an incredible experience. And friends, until we see you here next time, we just want to thank you for coming along with us and we want to say cheers. What? Paste? It's a paste. It's like filling, you say. Filling. filling? Okay. Yeah. Paste makes you think of like, I eat paste. <laughs> I eat paste.